Hello, I'm Mr. Robert Anderson, Consultant General and Upper GI Surgeon here at Rossall Hospital in Glasgow. Today, I'll be answering some of your most asked questions about having a cholecystectomy, also known as gallbladder removal surgery. If you're about to have this surgery, you'll want to feel informed and prepared beforehand. In this video, I'll share expert information and advice about the procedure and how long it takes to recover, so you can know exactly what to expect. Firstly, what is your gallbladder? Your gallbladder is a small, pouch-like organ that stores and releases bile, which is a chemical substance that breaks down fats. When you eat a fatty meal, your gallbladder contracts, releasing bile into the small intestine through a series of tubes called bile ducts. You can live without your gallbladder, so if it's causing problems, your consultant might suggest having gallbladder removal surgery. Why might you need gallbladder removal surgery? The most common reason for having your gallbladder removed is gallstones. Gallstones are hard, fatty lumps, usually made of cholesterol and bile pigments, that form inside your gallbladder. They are usually painless, but if left untreated, they can sometimes lead to complications and more serious health issues. If a gallstone becomes trapped inside your gallbladder, it can cause the onset of pain in your abdomen that usually lasts between one and five hours. This type of pain is called biliary colic and it can lead to further complications such as inflammation of the gallbladder, also known as cholecystitis. This can result in persistent pain and sometimes jaundice which causes yellowing of the skin and a very high temperature. Breathing deeply can sometimes make the pain worse. Unlike some other types of abdominal pain, the pain of cholecystitis is usually constant and does not go away within a few hours. Which surgeon is best to perform gallbladder removal surgery? Gallbladder removal surgery is performed by either a gastrointestinal surgeon or a general surgeon. What happens during gallbladder removal surgery? If you have symptoms of gallstones, your consultant might recommend gallbladder removal surgery. There are two main ways gallbladder removal surgery can be performed. The first way is with laparoscopic or keyhole surgery. During this surgery, your consultant will make small cuts across your abdomen to access and remove your gallbladder. They will use a laparoscope, which is a thin tube with a camera and light attached to the end of it. It is connected to a monitor and display on a large screen so your consultant can see inside your abdomen in real time and perform the procedure with precision. Carbon dioxide will be pumped into your abdomen, inflating it and making it easier to access your gallbladder. Specialist instruments will be inserted through the incisions to perform the surgery. The incision will be closed with stitches and covered with a dressing. Keyhole surgery tends to be carried out whenever possible because you can leave hospital sooner, recover faster, and are left with smaller scars. Alternatively, you can have open surgery, which involves a single, larger cut across your abdomen that your surgeon will enter directly to remove your gallbladder. An open procedure may be recommended if you can't have keyhole surgery, for example, because you have a lot of scar tissue from a previous surgery on your abdomen your surgeon can explain why they feel an open procedure is best for you. They will begin by making an incision underneath your ribs and inserting specialist instruments to remove your gallbladder. The wound will be closed with stitches and covered with a dressing. Is the surgery performed under general anaesthesia? Yes, both keyhole and open surgery are performed under general anaesthesia, meaning you won't be awake at any stage. How long does the surgery take? It takes around 45 minutes to one hour for laparoscopic and roughly double that for an open operation. What is the recovery like? Most people can leave hospital on the same day if they have keyhole surgery, but you'll need someone to collect you as you'll feel drowsy and a little out of sorts while recovering from general anaesthesia. If you've had open surgery, you will need to stay in hospital for a few days to be monitored before going home. Upon discharge from hospital, your consultant will offer expert advice on how to care for your dressing, depending on the type of stitches you've had. When you're home, you might experience some pain, swelling and bruising at the point of the incisions. 
but this is completely normal and can be managed effectively with painkillers. You might find it easier to eat little and often in the first few days after surgery, but you can increase this as soon as you feel comfortable. You do not need to follow a specific diet after your gallbladder has been removed, but some people find it difficult to digest fatty foods as easily as before. If this happens, then take it slow, easing in more fatty foods while you recover. When can you get back to everyday activities? The general anaesthetic takes 24 to 48 hours to wear off, so you will need to rest and recover for around two days after surgery. We recommend very gently moving during this time frame to get rid of trapped gas in your stomach and maintain your energy levels. Do not climb long flights of stairs for 24 to 36 hours after surgery. We also recommend avoiding heavy exercise and lifting for around 15 days. This includes running. Light jogging is fine after one week if you feel able to do this, especially if you're a running enthusiast and feel itching to get back to it after surgery. Most people can get back to work and living a normal everyday life with most activities included within two weeks. Is life hard after gallbladder removal surgery? You can live a normal, healthy and active life without a gallbladder. Without your gallbladder, your liver will release bile directly into your small intestine and this allows your body to digest most foods normally. You may experience temporary side effects from surgery such as abdominal discomfort and difficulty digesting fatty foods, but this will often dissipate as you recover. As I said, most people are fully back to their usual selves within two weeks of surgery. So there you have it, a run through of what it's like to have gallbladder removal surgery and why you might benefit from the procedure. If you'd like to discuss having gallbladder removal surgery in more detail, you can book an appointment with me or your nearest consultant at circlehealthgroup.co.uk. We hope you found this video useful and don't hesitate to leave any questions in the comments section below.